What's up everybody, this is Dennis from SEO Bots, and in this video I'm going to show you how to extract LinkedIn users' emails from Google search by the dozens. Before I continue, please support our channel by liking this video, and if you would like to see more bot tutorials and automation tutorials in the future, go ahead and subscribe to our channel right now. As you probably know, LinkedIn doesn't really like it when you try to extract information from its pages by scraping them. But the funny thing is that you don't even have to scrape LinkedIn to extract information from it because it was already done by Google. So all you have to do is provide correct queries and ask correct questions to Google to get your data. Let me show you an example. So we're on Google and I'm going to type site linkedin.com. By using the site operator, I'm limiting my search and I'm searching on linkedin.com domain only. Next, I'll type software engineer. I'm using quote because I want this exact keyword to be present in my searches. If you're not using the quotes, Google may look for software provider engineer or something like that. I don't know if that's even a thing. So I'm better off using the quotes. Next, I'll type in the email mask, gmail.com. And finally, I'll type in the location. California. I'll paste this search string into the uh, video description so you can repeat that. Let's go ahead and perform the search. And as you can see, Google returned approximately 92,000 results for this particular query. And if you look really closely, you can see that some of the snippets contain email addresses of people who satisfy my query. So they're probably in California and they're probably software engineers. Actually, let's go ahead and click on this guy here and you'll see that this is an existing profile and the guy does mention his email for everybody to see. So all you have to do now is vary these queries. So for example, you can go deeper such as uh, Palo Alto, uh, Los Angeles. You can change software engineer with programmer. You can add more email masks. So for example, uh, msn.com and you'll see that there are msn.com emails, gmails, everything is there. And you didn't even have to scrape LinkedIn for that kind of information. It's all here, it's all available, just take it and do whatever you want. Of course, going one by one, page by page, and copying and pasting these emails to your notepad is inefficient, which is why we wrote a special bot that will do that for you. So to use the bot, first sign up for seobots.io. I will put the link in the description. And next you need to log in and go ahead and click on this tools for LinkedIn category link. Scroll down and you will see the LinkedIn email miner bot. You can have a look at this example output data file to see what kind of information you will be getting. And uh, you can see I was looking for software developer, Denver, um, and the bot returned after scraping Google search, the bot returned um, a bunch of profiles with their profile URLs and extracted emails. Okay, let's try and launch the bot ourselves. Click the start bot button, give your job a name. I'm gonna look for programmers. Next, you need to specify the search keywords and those are normally the professions you're looking for. So programmer, each search keyword must go on a new line software ar architect. Next, you need to paste in the locations. I'm gonna go for California, Los Angeles, and uh, Palo Alto. Finally, you need to provide the email mask you will be going after. So Gmail sounds like a good idea, and uh, yahoo.com. You can paste as many as you want. If you're going country specific, it can, it can be something like uh, yandex.ru or yahoo.co.jp for Japan. I'll disable notifications and now I'm ready to click the start this bot button. You can see that the job was created and is now in active state. You don't have to wait for the uh, job to complete to close your browser. You can close your browser and uh, return to the site later. If you would like to see more bot tutorials, don't forget to leave us a comment on what kind of bots you're looking for um, because we have a lot of them. I fast forwarded the video slightly and you can see that it took about two minutes for the bot to complete the job. And let's click the view data button and see what's been going on there. As we can see, the bot returned 198 emails for programmer, software architect, 
and it found a bunch in California, in Los Angeles, in Palo Alto, and uh, there you have it, your Gmails, your... Um, nobody's using Yahoo these, day, these days. Oh no, some do. A bunch of uh, people who are using Yahoo. The bot scrapes the first 100 results on Google, which is why you need to really vary your search queries because you can't expect it to retrieve all 95, 90,000 results, whatever uh, Google showed us uh, in one go. So be really specific. Software engineer, programmer, software architect, vary those queries go deeper in terms of locations, go very, very specific, and of course, uh, provide different email masks because not everybody's using Gmail. And you'll be surprised there are other email providers such as ProtonMail, uh, as somebody's using Amazon.com still, so that kind of thing can also get pretty creative. Now, this is practically it. Make sure to like the video to support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, ask your questions in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video.